Hey everybody, welcome to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us and please consider supporting this channel by subscribing to this channel. Just hit that big red shiny button down at the bottom of this uh, screen here that helps to support this channel and as well if you want to make sure that you don't miss a video release hit that notification bell because I don't always release these videos at the same time at the same day or every day for that matter so just keep that in mind and with that said let's get into today's video so we are all excited because guess what today is draft day finally today is draft day ladies and gentlemen and uh, with that uh, you'll probably notice a lack of draft mock draft content on this channel and I do apologize for that actually because I know that last year I did a little bit more uh, content uh, about uh, draft prospects and uh, of course I was uh, I was still kind of new uh, to this channel um, or, or new to doing YouTube in general and uh, so you know I was excited about doing the draft uh, content I was uh, I paid attention to college football a little bit more last year I didn't get a chance to watch hardly any college football this year at all and I hated that normally I watch a lot of college football I watch just about as much as I do NFL football and for some reason I did not get a chance to watch any college football this year so because of that I felt that it would just been flat out fake and false for me to give you uh, you know uh, educated analysis of these draft picks when I'm like honestly what I would be telling you is just regurgitated information that somebody else has already said. And, you know, I mean, you can get that from any other channel. So I'm just here to tell you that, you know, Washington Football Maniacs did not give you any mock drafts this year. And that was the reason. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not giving you any mock drafts because I'm just going to pop up here and give you what somebody else has already planned out and what probably half the people has decided you know what that sounds right I'm that's gonna be my mock draft as well I will tell you what I think that the team's direction is going to be in this draft though here are the all right so I'm gonna start some rumors right um, here here's what I think is going to happen um, I really think that Washington is going to trade down in the first round. I really do because I think Green Bay is looking to trade up. And I heard this rumor. I heard some rumors, right? Uh, pass it along. Uh, so, <laughs> gossip, right? So, you know, rumor that possibly Green Bay may be interested in trading up. And so, if they trade up, they might be willing to you know, switch places with Washington in the first round and also give them um, a couple of other draft picks. Um, I can't remember if it was the second round or a third round, but if that's the case, at least a couple of third rounds maybe, I don't know. I have to look and see what, what Green Bay has as far as their draft picks. But, you know, if they're, if they're giving up uh, their second round and a third round to move up with Washington, I would say... <laughs> grab that deal. I would definitely say grab that deal. I think that's what Washington probably should do. Now, a lot of people will say, no, I want Washington to stay at number 11 because I want the commanders to pick up one of those wide receivers because I'm afraid that they're going to lose Terry McLaurin. And I totally get that. Again, I think we should pump our brakes because we're going to re-sign Terry McLaurin. Just don't worry about that. We are going to re-sign Terry McLaurin. If we don't, then that's going to be the biggest tragedy, I think, in the entire NFL. That being said, that's what I think is going to happen in the first round there. I think that Washington is going to trade down with Green Bay. They're going to pick up some draft picks. They're going to actually recover some third round draft picks and as I said in the last uh, 
as I said in the last uh, video, the the uh, drawn pain video, uh, and if you haven't watched that video, please consider going back and watching that video. But um, you know, we talked about maybe trading him today for draft picks and possibly picking up third round draft picks at, at that point. I think third round draft picks are extremely important uh, because. You know, you can pick up some a wealth of fantastic players in the third round. I mean, we've seen it in the NFL. We've seen some guys who turn out to be franchise players drafted in the third round of the uh, the draft. So, third round is extremely important. We don't have a third round draft pick. So, I think Washington is going to do what they can to get a third round draft pick. And I think that right now, I think they're going to try to trade Deron Payne, obviously, because they're not extending him. Um, and I, I did say that I thought that it was kind of showing their hand of going out and announcing, hey, hey, everybody, we're not extending Deron Payne, which means we're not interested in him. We don't value Deron Payne. And so, you know... Uh, other teams are going to be like, okay, all right, no, we're not going to trade for him. If you don't value him, then we don't value him. He must not be that great of a player, right? Okay, you want to trade him? We'll give you a seventh rounder for him. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the way the, that these other franchises are going to deal with Washington because it's Washington, right? And I, I you know, for for better or worse, I don't know, but. Uh, why on earth? I mean, I, I think that they, I would have not even announced that, you know, but, and maybe they didn't. Maybe it was Ron Payne's uh, representative. Uh, maybe it was his agent that probably leaked that out to the press. Um, and in turn, probably devalued Ron Payne somewhat. Uh, so I don't know. But I, I would have thought that, that that would have been something that would have been kept to the vest because then you know you know your intentions are you're not going to keep them around and then you can say hey you know we really love to Ron Payne we want to keep him and we're trying to sign him but I tell you what we are willing to deal him what do you have you know are you willing to give up a you know a second or third round for him I mean who knows if Washington trades down their first round uh, number 11 spot and then they trade Deron Payne, picks up another third rounder, maybe another, I don't know, maybe we get two third rounders for him. Maybe we get a second rounder for him. I mean, suddenly Washington has some really decent high round picks, uh, a bunch of them. And this is something that is wonderful for this team. And that is what I would rather see this team uh, do as far as the draft. Um I, I'm not sure if this year it would be conducive for them to go all in on number 11 unless that there is just absolutely a surefire you know, receiver. And again, we have had such bad luck drafting receivers uh, aside from Terry McLaurin that I, I am not really sure that you know drafting somebody in the first round as a receiver, is the best thing for us, but I mean, who knows? But I will say this: this is what I would predict Washington to do. They will, they will trade down in the first round. They will pick up maybe another second rounder or the third rounder. I think they will try to trade uh, Deron Payne and pick up some other draft picks. So then maybe they go from not having any third rounders to having at least two third rounders. And that's how it's going to go. We're going to see more movement for Washington in day two than day one. Uh, and then Washington will take that newly required, uh, acquired first rounder uh, that's a little bit further down. And uh, who knows, maybe they, they pick up a, um, uh, I don't know, who is it, uh, Desmond Ryder? Uh, maybe they, they look at somebody like him. Um, but... 
I think as far as positions, uh, yeah, I mean, you do look at wide receiver, but I'm, I'm going the born route. I really think that uh, the team needs some help at the offensive line, that guard positions. You know, we lost Flowers, we lost Sheriff, so we need to fill those positions. So we really need to look at the draft to to find the right guys for that. So, you know, we need to look at those positions. We need to continue to get help at the linebacker position, and we need help in the secondary. So, you know, safety, again, is one of those positions that I think we need to look at as well, uh, to have another strong safety back there along with um, Cameron Curl, to have two young guys back there who can complement each other. I think that's what we need. You know, we, we picked up, um, I think, a really promising corner uh, with um, Benjamin St. Juice last year. And uh, I think we're, we can have a strong secondary, uh, but we need to continue to build it up. So those are the really the places where I think we really need to focus on. Um, you know, wide receiver, I think once that we settle things with Terry McLaurin, the wide receiver position will really work itself out. You know, assuming that Curtis Samuel is healthy, um, you know, you're going to have him. Uh, as far as tight ends, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, Logan Thomas, hopefully, was going to be healthy. Uh, John Bates, you know, he really started to come into his own toward the end of the season. So, you know, I think we should be fine there. And, again, we have some other quality wide receivers as well with um, – Cam Sims coming back, um, you know, guys like that. So, you know, I'm really, I really think that we're fine with that. I really think we need to focus on other areas that we're slim at. So that's what I think, folks. You let me know in the comment sections what you think. Uh, I'm excited. Tonight is draft night. I don't, you know, I had almost thought about doing live streaming, but honestly, everybody else is going to be doing it. And I really just want to sit back and enjoy watching <laughs> watching the draft. And, and I'm probably going to have to deal with, uh, you know, giving my son a bath tonight and, and doing the family thing before the draft comes on. So I don't know if I'm going to have time to really, uh, you know, prepare for streaming as well. So that all being said, you guys enjoy the draft. I'm going to enjoy the draft. I'm going to try to come back tomorrow morning and make a video on the results of the first round we'll talk about it and with that said again please consider subscribing to this channel supporting this channel and let's go maniacs hail to the washington commanders boom